In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the 2D replay feature of Gnosis. The 2D replay feature of Gnosis allows you to analyze an entire match round by round in a simplified 2D form. By viewing a match in this 2D simplified form, it's easier to understand different team strategies. So what's shown on the screen is the simplified 2D form. It shows you different players, where they're currently positioned, which direction they're looking in, whether they have their gun out, as represented by this skinny rectangle here, or whether they have a grenade out, as represented by the circle next to the player. In this replay mode, you'll also get to see the trajectory of any grenades used, as well as the landing positioning of all the smokes, as well as the molotovs. On the right side of the screen, you'll see each individual player their current health, the type of armor they have, whether that's just body armor or body armor plus head armor. You'll see what weapons they have and what utility they have, and you'll see how much money they have. Down at the bottom here, we have each round of the match. The colored circle above each round indicates which team won that round. So a yellow dot over a round would indicate that the terrorists won that round. A blue dot would indicate the CTs won that round. And when you hover over any individual rounds, it'll show you the cumulative score of the game up until that point. So if we're at round six, at the end of round six, the score is going to be six to zero in the favor of the terrorists. The bar all the way at the bottom is our time bar. The green section is the freeze time at the beginning of the round where players are buying weapons. The dark gray section is when the round starts. And then anywhere there's a blue or a yellow line indicates that a person has died. So if there's a blue line, that means that a counter-terrorist died. If there is a yellow line, that indicates that a terrorist died. When you see a red line, the first red line indicates that a player has started planting the bomb. The second red line indicates that the player successfully planted the bomb. And then the final red line is an indication that the bomb has exploded. The pink area on the far right is an indication that the round is over. Another feature you have available to you is the playback speed. You can choose between half speed, normal speed, 1.5 times, and 2 times. When you hit the play button, the round begins to play. In the bottom right hand corner, you'll notice a button that says open current frame and strategy. And what that does is it takes a snapshot of all the player's positions at the moment, as well as any utility at play, such as smoke grenades or mollies. And that opens up the strategy tab, which allows you to draw and come up with your own plays based on what you see from that current frame. So in this case, we have the terrorists lined up, ready to execute on bombsite A. And we know, because we just watched the replay, that there's going to be a couple smokes thrown to basically block off counter-terrorist view of the oncoming push. So what you might want to do when developing your own strategy is you can use this strategy tool to basically draw which players are going to throw which smokes. And then you can even, you know, add additional utility on the screen or maybe different paths that you want your players to run such that you're able to execute the strategy. So give this feature a try. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us via the feedback button on the lower left hand corner or reach out to us on our Twitter or Facebook. Enjoy!